right, so here we are still at NAB 2012. You've probably heard that one enough for this series. But anyways, uh, in my wonderful ebook titled Shut Up and Shoot, I talk about that you don't just have to shoot stock footage to be a media artist. You can also create unbelievable cool stuff. And it just so happens I ran, in, by good fortune, into our friend Digital Spatula on Pond 5, the After Effects God. Oh, please. No, no, no. no. What, what, what's your real name and why are you called Digital Spatula? How, how, who was spanking you and when? <laughs> uh, maybe it was off a rough night of drinking. But no, uh, actually my name is Steve Taylor. And uh, Digital Spatula is the name of my company. I do a lot of video production stuff, so I just kept it for the stock stuff. And uh, the idea was just that uh, as a production entity, post-production, you take a lot, of res uh, a lot of ingredients, you take a recipe, and you create an end product, much like a kitchen or a chef would. So I was trying to think of a fun kitchen utensil, and spatula came to mind, and uh, 17 years later, it's still around. I would have gone with a wisp. Yeah, uh, spatula is probably a little better. I don't know, chasing my wife around in the kitchen with a wisp is always funny. Too much information. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're talking about stock yeah. media, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you've got like a ton of After Effects projects up on uh, Pond5. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you work with any other agencies? I do. Revostock.com. Uh, those are the two main ones for After Effects projects. I also sell footage on uh, Pond5, Revostock, Shutterstock, uh, iStock, uh, and a bunch of others. So, yeah, I mean, but the After Effects projects are mostly on Revostock.com and Pond5.com. So, uh, what if, if, if somebody wanted to get into this business, and you know they really liked you know computer graphic and graphical arts and things of that sort. You know, obviously After Effects is an unbelievably cool product, Amazing. and and from what I see, CS6 is going to be really cool. That's awesome. Uh, being an After Effects artist myself, mm -hmm. if I say anything, you know, it's going to be biased because I wrote the book. But maybe from another mouth, what advice would you give to somebody that is considering or contemplating getting into this business? Well, I think the first thing is to do your research. Find out what kind of design styles people are using in broadcast and corporate videos. Uh, find out what people want. And uh, that way you have a kind of a target to design for. Beyond that, you really need to know your soft software. Uh, you have a vision in your mind. You know what it wants to look like, but you need to have the route to get there. So you need to have those basic tools to know how to build a box, put the content in it, move the camera around, uh, all that stuff. So you have to build that basic foundation. And then uh, beyond that, make it easy for the user to put their stuff into your project. Now, Pond5 and Revostock have requirements that it's easy to use for their users. So uh, you're going to have to do that anyways. But I'd say start from the get-go thinking about how the user is going to use that and how the easy it's going to be for them to drop their stuff in. So usually you include a readme file that would tell people how to use your particular project. Uh, you would put notes in the uh, comment fields and stuff like that just so people are confident when they open it that they can drop their footage in and use it. Um, the other thing is just to make sure that uh, your, your, um, your preview movies look good, um, you know, are, are rendered well, your camera movements are smooth, um, and just that your design has a contemporary flavor so that it holds up for a you know, good amount of time. So, and, and so for any newbie that has any questions, they should just email you, right? Well, actually, I have. I'm, a, I'm kidding. Well, I do because have an, okay, I, no, I do have an answer to that. Uh, on RippleTraining.com, I have a newbie's training disc for After Effects, and it's excellent to get that 30, 40 percent of the pro, of the program that you need to do this kind of stuff: camera movements, masking, uh, effects, things like that, timing. Uh, so uh, that's called After Effects Fast Forward on RippleTraining.com. But that's one way people can learn the, the app. A lot of people have the app, but they've never used it. They might use Premiere Pro, but then After Effects is sitting over there in the corner, but they've never used it. But it's actually very powerful. So if they can just learn a few techniques, they can get that thing up into a much level, much, much higher level and raise their production quality and possibly start thinking about doing uh, stock templates. And, and that's Ripple Train? RippleTraining.com. Yeah. RippleTraining.com. So Ripple as on water. Yes. Training as in training. Okay. Ripple and Pond. Whoa, those have a commonality. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, got it. I got it. I got it. And it's yeah. called After, After Effects Fast Forward. 
Awesome. That, that's great. That's great information. I'm going to check that out myself. Please do. And I will put the links up. Great. I will put the links up to that. Thank you. So, guys, watch the, uh, the thing below. You know, this video, there's a little player. And down here, there's some, some text and HTML with links that will link right over to Spatula Man here. Digital Spatula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you cook? No, not a, I can make macaroni and cheese. Hey, let's go eat. Yeah. Thanks for watching.